Hey everyone, it's Lisa. I hope that you have had a great week. I have missed you this week. I was just, to be honest, I was just trying to catch up. I've gotten much better, but I did have to go to the doctor again. Again, they said it was just a virus or allergies, and they offered to give me the z pack but I really hate to take something if I don't have to. So I have gotten much better, and I did start doing the nose spray. Um, they had prescribed Flonase, or one of them that didn't come in a generic, and of course my insurance wanted me to have a generic, so ended up getting that and I feel a lot better. And now, all you wives and girls with men can sympathize with me. My husband has it, and so I've been baby, baby in him. He had a coughing spell last night and I had to get up and get him Robitussin, and he's been, you know how that goes. So. Um, I have got so much stuff, and I'm going to try not to talk, but that's terribly hard for me. Um, but I am going to just, it's going to be here, there, and everywhere because I've just got birthday stuff and regular stuff all over the place. So first thing I'm going to show you, I just put one of the gifts on last, or just now, and this is from Gina for my birthday. And um, one of our little jokes is telephone, because <laughs> I'll show you the box. She wrote out all the lyrics to the Beyonce part of the Lady Gaga song, Telephone, because we always tease each other about burning up our phones. And um, so she gave me this necklace, which I love. It's a you little can put a little receiver on there. And it's a telephone. And look, it has little rhinestones. It's just gorgeous, and it's rose gold. And I told her not only is this kind of sentimental for us, but it is because my grandmother had one of those big, black, heavy phones that I think she rented or leased from the phone company forever until she went into the nursing home. And it had one of those rotary dials, and it had a little special little place in the hallway. And this made me think of it immediately. And I kind of like it with the um, little receiver off. I just think it looks pretty because I've been wanting a lariat style necklace. So, super Love sweet. That. And she was excited when she found it because she knew it was sentimental. And then I've showed you guys this already. This is the Lip Fusion Sweet that she picked out for me. And I love it, love it, love it. Don't be scared that it's not enough color because it really is. And um, I've just, even this morning, I put on my Lip Fusion. I love that stuff. Now, I know it doesn't work for some people. Um, I think it just depends on how much moisture and stuff it has that you have in your body. So she got me some lashes that. because we had been talking about what lashes we liked and we both wanted to try these. And um, I haven't had good luck lately with putting lashes on. And then we both like these. And I bought the MAC number 7 lashes and I swear they look, I can't tell the difference. I'm sure there is a difference, but I can't tell it. Then, both of us were talking about how we had never tried hula bronzer. So, she got me a hula bronzer, and I'm wearing it now, and I love it. I love the color. I love the pigmentation. Not crazy about this box because you guys know I take that big MAC brush, and I like to swirl it all around. So, I'm having to kind of work my brush a little different, but um, I do like it a lot. It is worth having, definitely. I told her it might be a little dark for her. I don't Thank know. Thank you so much, Gina. I really like it. I've made some very, very special friends here on YouTube, and I really Another appreciate it. Another gift I got was from my friend Jenny Ann, and you guys have heard me. Her and I have talked and swapped so many times, and she always sends me the sweetest stuff, and she has figured out a good way to do it. She lives in Australia, so she has been sending me. I love this paper. I love it. Wouldn't it be cool to have a lipstick this color? I saved it because it's just so pretty. I want to show it to you. But she sent me a birthday package from the Strawberry Net. She sent me some fabulous products. She should have her own channel because she always tells me about the neatest stuff. And I could not wait to share this one with you. It is the MD Formulation Hand and Body Cream Softens and Exfoliates. And um, the box looks like this. And she says she uses it for her hands and arms and everything. I have been using this and I love it. And I've been using it sparingly because I want it to last, but I'll probably be getting some more. If you have those little bumps, that get on the back of your arms. I'm lucky I don't have them. Every once in a while I'll get just maybe a couple, but Will has them. And um, I've had this little lovely little like sunspot type thing. This is really helping me. It's almost getting rid of it. I hate to say getting rid of it, but it really it has some um, acid in it. <coughs> see. Yeah, it has uh, glycolic acid, 14%. So that's pretty, pretty heavy duty stuff. And I love it, love it, love it. And I cannot even remember 
doesn't really have a strong scent at all. And then, I know you guys are, many of you love this stuff. She got me the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. Brightens and tightens. Who doesn't need that? But um, I have been using this as like a primer underneath my BB cream, and it has been wonderful. I've been putting it on before I even take Will to school because that's my routine. I wash my face, do everything except put my makeup on, and then take him to school. And I've been using this, and it's almost like the Beauty Boomer cream is what I would compare it to. It is not... I would not compare it to a BB cream. It's not that it has a whole bunch of coverage. It mainly just makes your skin look so much better. I mean, you'll wish you could just bathe in it. And it also, what it does with the Rachel K CC cream that I love so much, it gives it a good, see how it makes it just, and that's rubbed in here. It gives it a nice luminous finish to kind of just glide around on. And um, I just love it. And I've heard many of you talk good about it. So um, love it, love it, love it. So thank you so much, Jenny Ann. That was very what thoughtful. What are you doing, Dexie? Then one of my subscribers, and many of you probably know her. She's, um, her name is she Eva. She a box full of stuff. And I won't go over everything because I'm going to try to be quick. But a just beautiful things. And earrings. You know those are right up my alley. I probably should have worn those today. They are so pretty. See, they have the different color metals. And a really pretty necklace. And the best thing was this. She makes these rings out of vintage earrings. And she has a channel on YouTube. And I will link it below just in case you would like to know. But isn't that pretty? And I told her I'm going to try to get some of my grandmother's old earrings. Not my grandmother that's in the nursing home because... I have her diamond earrings. She didn't, she wasn't real, she didn't wear a lot of ornate jewelry, but my other grandmother did, the one that died when I was 22, and um, so I'm looking forward to seeing if she has some that I can make into rings, because isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. So thank you so yes, much, I've never tried anything from Josie Moran. It's a, um, let's see, a color stick in glow, just all kinds of stuff, and I've had it all out here. Ready to show you guys all week. I thought I was going to do a birthday haul and just, you know. And then another gift, surprise gift I got last week, and it's from Karen, and her name, her YouTube name is Pete Jr., and she has the best sense of humor. I love, I love getting, so many of you have great sense of humor. I love it. And um, she does, and I, it was so funny when she was checking on me before the hurricane, she told me to get, hurry up, get in those designer jeans, and get out of here. And I thought it was so funny. And she sent me a beautiful card, and oh, speaking of card, I have another funny card I want to show you too from my friend Sheila. Anyway, she sent me this card, and then she saw this sign for my new room, and um, she thought it looked like me. And I love it. I'm going to take a picture of that, but shop like you mean it, and that's that's what I do. When I go shopping, I'm serious. So, um, thank you so much, Karen. That was so sweet, and um, I've enjoyed getting those. This is the card I was talking about, and I had it in that box with the little plaque that Karen sent me, but it was from Sheila. And this cracked me up when I, she sent it to my post office box, and when I got it, I laughed the whole way out to the car. And I laughed, and I had to call Gina and tell her about it. It says, another birthday, but don't worry. It says, you're not old until you start wearing your lipstick a lot larger than your lips. <laughs> and she said she knew that I would like that, and I just love it. <laughs> so thank you, sweet Sheila. Um, I just, I think so much of all of you guys, and I'm not going to get sentimental, but thank you so much. You guys are so sweet, and um, I've got another gift over here. And, you know, when I was growing up, my parents were so good about... And I try to think about this with my kids. They were so good at just making us grounded. And we really weren't a big birthday family. Like every time it was your birthday, my mom would make you a cake. And my grandmother would make these beautiful Barbie cakes where you put the Barbie and then the cake as her dress. And we would have like a little family party, especially when I was little. But as I got older, you know, I'd always get a little gift or, you know, a nice gift. But I never had these elaborate birthday parties like children do now. I mean, it was never like the town celebration or, 
you know, I'd have my friends in the neighborhood come over. If my birthday fell on a weekday, we'd have my birthday in the afternoon. And so the older I've gotten, it, when, I don't know, it's weird. It's kind of like I was never made to feel like that was like a big, big holiday. So I really, really appreciate it when people get me stuff for my birthday or make a big deal out of it because I've never really done that a lot. So, and John's family was a big birthday family, so he's like that, and so that's why he spoils me rotten, even more than usual on my birthday. So, um, thank you guys so much. Just your wishes just mean a lot to me. I really, I mean it. So, one birthday present that I just got yesterday, because she had it ordered especially for me, was from my friend Tammy, and, um, I was looking forward to this because she kept telling me, I know you're going to like my gift. I know you're going to like my gift. And I did. I did. I called her and opened it on the phone. The first thing she got me was these. And she showed these in her earring haul. And I loved them immediately. I thought, gosh, those are a little edgy for Tammy. And I thought, oh, I want some of those. And so she asked me, did I like them? And I said, yes, yes. I didn't want to ask her for them. But um, I just love them. And she got these at Steinmark. So if you have a Steinmark near you, um, you, know, you may be able to get them. But I just love that they're, they're edgy, but they still have the little crystals and everything on them. So I love those. Then she got me two nail polishes from Zoya. She got me uh, Jana, which is a perfect fall color. And she got me this one. I love it. It's um, Nina. And it's a dark brown, but it's still got still got a little bit of color to it, body to it. It's not just really, really dark black brown. It's a really pretty color. And then she had told me about this color that I ended up As getting. I was just looking for that nail polish, I also wanted to show you the box that Eva sent my gift in. Isn't that gorgeous? It's kind of like a book box. And I love stuff like this because I use them. I use these boxes for... Just nail polish, earrings, everything. So thanks again, Eva. I cannot find it, but it's this nail polish right here. It's from Zoya, and it's in that same collection. I got it at Ulta yesterday, and it's called Marina. And I just think it is a gorgeous blue. I love it, love it, love it. I have a nightgown that's pink, blush pink, and it has like a little um, rosette type thing in the middle, this color, and I love it. So it, is, it reminds me of that new Chanel collection and um, the denim colors, so love that. So got those two nail polishes and those earrings from Tammy. And then the last thing is this, and it's one of the bracelets from HRH Collection. She has a channel here on YouTube, and I'll put her link below. And her name is Alexa. I think it's Alexa. Alex is what I can remember. And um, it has the three little charms, like the disco ball crystal, and then this one that is the rose gold, which I love because then it matches my rose gold things. And then this is like a brushed silver, and it's very, very soft and lays real close to your skin. And then um, this little blackish type thing. So it'll go with, you know, any type of watch. Or yesterday I had it on with my black Michael Kors watch when I first got it, and I just love it. And her and I were on the phone, and... She had already ordered this, and I, we were looking at the website, and I said, ooh, I love that. I think I'm going to order that. And she said she was almost emailed her to tell her not to make it for me, but so I love that. And it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect for me because a lot of times I don't like to wear just too much stuff, so that's perfect to put on. And I like it with my watch because I'm right-handed, and I just think it is better for me on my left hand, and I just, I like it over here. So thank you so much, Tammy. She is another one that I am so thankful that I've met. So what I'm going to do next is just go through my makeup that I've gotten here, there, and everywhere. And um, then I'll do my clothes and shoes and handbag and stuff last. So you'll kind of okay, know Okay, I was watching on. Rachel Zoe the other night. Love her. And they were using this, and it just reminded me. I used to use this all the time. I was like, why did I quit using that? And I was just running out of my caviar the alterna so i got this yesterday at alta and i used my little three dollar and fifty cent coupon off of it so that was perfect got I that also got my hair done yesterday and she curled it and um so that's what this is it's kind of left over from yesterday and i got it colored and everything so i'm good to go now for a little while then i went when i was at alta um i 
got this. I had seen Blushing Pixie talk about this. It is the Stila. I'm not sure what they are calling this. Is it the Light Palette? For some reason, it's the Natural Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. But for some reason, I think it's called something else on the website on Sephora. I'm not sure, but it's this one. It has Kitten in it and all these great colors. And I do have the Urban Decay Naked Palette. But that one, for some reason, just does not work with as good for me as it does for a lot of you. And I'm, I'm not giving up. But this one has Kitten in it. has all these good colors. I used it today, and I love it. It has an eyeliner down here at the bottom. And I just, I loved every color in here. And I just thought it was a good deal. And um, I actually bought another one for you guys. And I'm going to do a small contest. And I'll tell you about it at the end of this okay, video. Okay, for getting so, those two, I ended up getting two of the One Step Prime Color in uh, Capri Coral. I don't really don't, know what these are. I haven't really looked at it because I just got this yesterday. But it was a free gift you got if I think you spent $25 on Stila. Then I got this, which I was so excited about. I have just loved that lip pencil I got from Too Faced that I got a long time ago. I got it, I think it was a free gift, and it was in with a gloss. And it is called, I normally don't go for little gimmicky things like this, called Perfect Lips. Perfect Nude Lip Liner, and it says it's the only lip liner you'll ever need. It really almost is. It is like lips in a pencil. It is the perfect color of my lips. It's that nudie, mauve type color, and I love it. I've been using it a lot with the, um, just all my colors, the Clarence Nude, the um, MAC Innocence Beware, and um, so I, I still have a little bit of that little trial size one. I'm going to put that one in my purse, and I wanted a full size, and then when I was there, I have looked at this lipstick so many times, and the girl, Rihanna, that helped me, one of my sweet girls at Ulta, said, have you ever tried Centerfold? I mean, just that name. Who can resist wanting to look like a Centerfold? And I have looked at this, and I thought, no, she said, that's a good one. And I got it and immediately put it on in the car and loved it. And I wanted so bad to wear it today, but it really didn't match um, my peachy tones that I'm wearing today. It is gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. It gives you the biggest, prettiest, sexiest lips and I will wear it the next time I do a video. Here I'll swatch it for you. It's glossy. It is just a beautiful, beautiful lipstick and I love it. And this plus this just equals gorgeous, I promise. So, and you don't even need anything over that. So if you're somebody that really likes the creamy, almost matte lip, this is perfect. So I love that, love that. I was excited because I, I'm you know, I love a good lip combo. When you spent, Ulta had some good free gifts. When you spent X amount with Too Faced, you got this, which is one of those little kabuki, flat top kabuki. Mm -hmm. This video is going to be long. Okay, let's see what else I've got in here. I know I got two exciting eyeshadows this week. I got Taupe from Bobbi Brown. I've been wanting to try that. I saw it on um, Vanessa, the Bombshell Sweet. And it's just a good... It's not taupe. It's much warmer than taupe. It's a really pretty color, and it's I could have like very easily used it in my crease today. It's a good all-over color, and um, I've used it once, but I haven't really used it enough to tell you too much about it, but it is. I don't regret it. It's a really pretty color, and then I was watching a video I just came across on somebody's channel, and when I go to somebody's channel to like thank them for something or whatever, and I see somebody that looks interesting I always click on it and that's what happened here and um, the girl was using this color and it's the Laura Mercier it's a chocolate deep, deep color and it's got like some red and purple type tones in it and um, I just thought it would be perfect for like just a one color smoky eye just the lid and um, I will do that soon and it's supposed to the girl had blue eyes and it would really looked pretty so got those two and um, oh here's this color it's the Marina by Zoya. Isn't that gorgeous? Went to the mall with Brooke, I think, last week, Brooke and her friend. And I always check the sale racks at Belk's because every month, at the beginning of the month, they do markdowns. And they had marked down a bunch of Jessica Simpson earrings. And um, these had been marked down from $22 to $10.99, and then they were 30% off of that. So I got some 
good earrings. I like those, and then I love these. I had actually looked at these when they were full price because they're really different the way they hang on your ear like that. So and here comes those. the clothes and the shoes. And a lot of this was bought at that little boutique that I have here in town. And it is not a chain. It's a one, they've got one store here and then one store in Florida. So I would tell you the name, but I gotta be careful. And so, um, but these brands you can pretty much get anywhere. So you can look up the styles and the brands. But these are the shoes that I had on last weekend. And um, they are Cynthia Vincent. And they are the, oh, are they not gorgeous? The Leopard. And with the zip up the back. And I haven't put a little toe thing in there yet, but they were pretty comfortable, I have to admit. And I just love them. I think they are gorgeous. And they were on sale. Actually, I think, I don't know if they were on sale or if he just, you know, I think he just hooked me up a little bit. But they're the Abbey Sandal. And they were $2.98. And I believe I ended up getting them for right around uh, $200. Which is a, still a good price for a Cynthia Vincent shoe. And I was just in Belks yesterday and saw a pair of BCBG sandals that were similar to this, and they were over $100. So, um, so I love these, and you know, I love shoes. I'm, I don't have to explain then, that. Then when do. I went in there, I wanted some uh, tops to wear, because I had gotten so many pairs of jeans, I wanted some tops to wear. And um, I picked up some of these, and a lot of these brands, are made in the USA and a lot of them you can find on like Shop Bop and Piper Lime. If you would just look up the brand you can probably find a lot of this stuff. And the first one is called Trash and Luxury. And I think I got this off of the sale rack. Yeah, it was 70% off of 55. So it was a great price. And I would much rather I've really tried to stay out of Walmart, <laughs> you know, uh, Target and a lot of places that I end up buying cheap stuff and just shop nicer stuff and get it on sale. I tried to be a little bit smarter that way. And um, I just think this is precious. Look at this. I love that it's like the ombre and then it has the kitty cat on it. And um, I just think it'll look perfect with, I know my lavender jeans and just any jeans. So I love that. And you know how much I love kitty cats. The next one I fell in love with as soon as I looked at it and felt it. And it is the Circle T Los Angeles. And I think that's how you look it up. It just has T here, but I think it's, I think you have to look up Circle T LA or Los Angeles. But it's just a nice sweatshirt, and I did pay full price, I think, for this. And it wasn't cheap, but um, I just loved it. It's one of those soft, just nice, see how, I don't know if you can see how thin it is. And I just know that this is going to be just perfect for layering under blazers. And I just love the color. And um, so I, as soon as I felt this, I had to get it. It's so soft. I'm not even sure what it's made of. It's called a Dolman sweatshirt. And I got the small. And um, it's neat. It has the seam down the back. And I just love it. Love it, love it. And I'll be wearing all this stuff real soon. This is another thing that I got off of the sale rack, and it's the brand is called Sunday Rocks. It's made out of 100% bamboo, made in the USA, um, and I just it was one of those things that was so soft. It's just a nice t-shirt, I mean, like a baby would wear, and it has the hood, and I just love it. I thought it would look good with a colored cami or a lacy cami or anything underneath it, and I just love it. I got some good stuff. I was excited. And then this is the thing that um, I was wearing last week that I showed you guys. And when I went back, they actually have this in black and white, too. Black and white. I know black, and I'm thinking white. Might have been black and gray. But I would love to get all of these eventually. But it wasn't, it wasn't cheap either. I can't remember how much this one was. But it's that same brand, Circle T, Los Angeles. And... Um, has the long, you know, flowiness. And you know I love ponchos and stuff, so it's right up my alley. And I love the way the shoulder was cut out. And I just love this color. So, I love that. And a lot of you were saying that John had good taste, and he does have good taste. But he actually just, 
he loves and I love for him to take me shopping. It's like, I, I always tell him I feel like pretty woman when, um, what was his name? Oh gosh, Edward, when Edward took her shopping because that's how it is a lot of times in this, you know, these places that he just sits down and I just try on things and he just, you know, tells him whether he likes it and I feel like pretty woman in there. So that's what we did that night. He just took me shopping and told me to get some more things for my birthday. So the rest is not from the same place. This is, I told you guys I had a couple of things I wanted to take back to Buckle. So that's what I did and I ended up getting this shirt. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that perfect? I just love these shirts. They're $25 and you just can't beat them because they lay so pretty. They're really long and they look great with jeans and they really are just, it's like the simplest thing. Throw this on and some jeans and some heels and you've got an Orange County housewife outfit. <laughs> I'm just teasing, but that's what it reminds me of, but I just love it. It's got a good v-neck and I got this one that I really like. You know, I love these colors. And um, so you can see like the patterns on the back. It's got the little, um, this one has, oh, it has rhinestones too. It's just beautiful. I love those. And then this was something I couldn't wait to show you guys. And I debated on whether putting it in my Victoria's Secret haul um, or lingerie little thing I've got going on. But I'll go ahead and show you now because it is kind of close to me. These were beach cover-ups. And they were marked down, I believe, 50% and then maybe another 50% off of that. But I ended up getting both of them. I think one of them for 17 and one of them for 15 and I would have never even looked, but the girl at the counter had on this one. You can see it's sheer, and it's kind of like the butterfly sleeves. And she had on just a black cami underneath it and a black skirt. And it looked so pretty. So I went and got that, and um, it's really pretty. I probably, I mean, I wouldn't have paid full price for it, which was um, $58. But, yeah, it was marked down to $34.99. And then it was, I think, half off of that, which would make it right around 17 or so. So that might be something that you guys would like. And then it even has the little gold Victoria's Secret thing on the back. I just thought it would be pretty for a party or leggings, like black leggings and boots. And then they also had this one, which has the little gold. And this one actually had, the knot was much lower, but she told me that there's just a couple of little, um, little stitches I had to take out and then you could tie it and it brings it right up underneath your bust line and it makes a perfect little dress. Well, dress for a lot of you, for me it wouldn't have to go. I put it on with a skirt and it covered the skirt but still I would probably wear it with leggings. But in soft, it's just so soft and this was marked down to $24.99. I believe it was half off of that. So if you have a Victoria's Secret near you, I would go check out these and um, just something easy to wear, you know. Last thing I got, and I also got this at that same boutique that I shop, and I got another handbag. I, you know, I have my Louis Vuitton, which is the dark brown, and then I had bought the Cuba bag that was black. But I wasn't really ready to move into a black bag. I wanted something that was a little different and maybe a light brown or something. I saw this one. I just fell in love with the style and the color. And um, it's another Kuba bag, which is K-O-O-B-A. And this is the Johnny bag. And um, let, me put the, let me put the little magnet so it looks better. And I love it. It's definitely a, you know, a less structured look, which is what I wanted. I wanted something to wear with all of my jeans and, you know, boots and stuff like that. And I love, you can unzip these, and it has a little compartment, but what I do is just use it like this and it's a huge compartment and I put my keys and sunglasses down in here so you know easy access and then inside and then there's a little nameplate and everything and it is leather and um, I just love it I love it it's different I mean I had looked at some Michael Kors bags and some different things like that but I really wanted something that was a little bit different and that you know you just didn't see every day and um, the handles are real good. It's just a perfect length, and I just I love it. And um, I cannot remember the name of this color. They had this color, black, and maybe a dark brown. I'm thinking maybe it was putty so, or something I know like I that. I have just gone on and on and on. 
and I've probably forgotten some stuff, but um, I had a wonderful birthday. I did. I have. I'm very blessed, and um, I thank God every day for my life, and I thank John just every day. Like last night when he thanked me for getting him the uh, cough medicine, you know, I just. I said, well, gosh, you know, thank you for being such a good husband. And he laughed, but it's true. I am very, very thankful, and I'm thankful for all of you, too. So I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and let you go enjoy your weekend. Today I have and on, on, this is another top that I got at the little boutique that I go to, and I cannot remember the name of it, but I will put it right here, the brand name, and it was on the clearance Um shelf too and I just loved it. It's so soft and I love this. I'll show you in a minute. I love this like velour detail here. And then these are the jeans that I got last week that I showed you guys. They are the Big Star and um, I cannot remember the name of them. I'll put it down here. But they are the Skinny. And I think that what it is is they are kind of like a combination of skinny and straight. They're not, they're not too skinny. And then these are the shoes that I have just been wearing to death. They are the Sigmund, the Sigmund um, Morrison, I believe is the name of them. But they have been so comfortable and I just love them. They're just perfect for just about any outfit that I put on. And so I'm just going real casual today. Um, and also, just, I just wanted to show you the bag, how the bag looks with um, my clothes. I love it. It fits. It's just the perfect spot. And... Um, I love it. For accessories, I have on these rose gold Daisy Fuentes earrings that a subscriber sent me. I have on the necklace that Gina sent me, the telephone. Um, I have on this ring that Christine sent me, and I could not resist wearing it with this nail polish. I don't know if it goes with the rest of my jewelry, but I just it matched too well. I have on the blush fossil watch, the aluminum, that Rhonda sent me. And then this is the bracelet that Tammy gave me for my birthday, the HRH collection. And um, the scent I'm wearing is Bond Number no. 9 Fire Island. I've just started being able to wear the fragrances again. You can tell I still have a little bit of cough going, but it this is the me. top. And you can see and how it has the felt. I just love it. Or velvet. I love it. It feels so good, and I just think it's so pretty and feminine. So, um, my contest. <clears throat> I was thinking that I've had this video on Friday for so long and I've always called it Friday Haul. And it is a haul video, but I feel like I try to make it so much more than just a haul video. I try to make it almost, you know, something, a guide if you would like to. I try to find good things for you to shop for, um, good colors, and almost like I'm living out my personal shopper dream with you guys. So I was thinking... Um, Maybe I could come up with a different name than Friday Haul because, you know, I just think it's more than that. Now, if you don't, just put leave a comment down below that you need you think we need to keep it as it is. But I would like for you guys to try to think of something fun, a new title like, um, I don't know, I, I couldn't, I mean, anything. Fridays with Lisa or shopping tip or what anything, anything, anything that would be neat. And um, I am going to just pick something before next Friday, and that person will win the Stila palette that I just got. It's just a fun little little contest, and um, it it doesn't matter where you live, and but you do have to be a subscriber, and I guess you need to be over 18 or just have your parents' permission to give out your address. And um, so help me with that. Help me think of something you know, witty or whatever. But if you do think that I need to keep it Friday haul because I've been kind of torn between changing it, you know, sometimes I don't like to change things. But um, I just, I do try to make it more, you know, more than just showing you what I've got, you know. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and leave your ideas below and um, I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.